Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just my everyday makeup look. When I'm not recording, this can actually take me only about like 10 minutes. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. There's also a, a thumbs up button. It would be awesome if you guys thumbed it up or if you shared this video as well. Please leave in the comments below what you guys would like to see. I think that is all that I have to say, so continue watching the video if you'd like to see how I do my everyday makeup. Okay, so all I have um, on my skin right now currently is just my um, moisturizer. I always put a um, chapstick or a lip balm on before I ever start just to make sure my lips are moisturized. Um, this is just the Carmex brand. Yeah. So then I am going to go in with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. This is just a primer that you put on your skin before you... To your foundation. I have a dry, dehydrated skin. So this probably wouldn't work for everybody, but it works for me. It just kind of um, creates a little bit of like luminosity. After that, I am just gonna go in with my foundation. And honestly, I love drugstore foundation. Yes, I have some high-end foundation, but I wouldn't say that I have like too problematic skin. And some drugstore foundations are just as good as high-end. Today I'm gonna use the True Match Lumi. I just got a spray tan yesterday, so right now I'm in the color in for buff beige. Just gonna apply this to my face. I'm going to take a beauty blender. I like using this just because I do have dry skin. You wet it and it gets bigger, so it's kind of like moist. Moist. So just start pouncing this into your face. Like this. So I am going to go in now with concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. It's amazing, it's creamy. You would never know it was a drugstore concealer. And I like to use, well, I wouldn't say I use it too much. Probably to the average person, I probably use a lot. It's like I, I'm a mom, okay, I need it. I'm gonna go down the center of my face like this. This is called highlighting. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. This is what I use when I'm very fair, and I'm not gonna go in with much of this at all. This is super, super full coverage, um, and because it is so light, I don't wanna use it on my spray tan. So I'm literally just going to put it in the corners of my eyes. And then I'm gonna take that beauty blender and I'm just going to pounce it underneath and blend it. Um, the, this is so busted. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Um, like literally, I'm almost out. I need to go get more. <laughs> I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes. I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Face Brush in F25. It looks like this. Any brush will really do. I just always grab this one for whatever reason. And I'm just going to look up and press that powder underneath my eyes. And this is going to set the concealer so that it doesn't crease. And I'm also going to set my T-zone to the center of my face. Just where most people get oily. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I actually get oily, but because it is summertime, sometimes I will. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, this is going to be probably more intense than most people would do, or the average person. But it's just what I like to do. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to, like, the little details, if you will. So, I am going to be using the... It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. It just looks like this. This is like an actual pencil. And right now I'm just brushing my brow hairs up. Let me zoom you in just a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to start penciling in in small strokes where there is sparse areas. Typically always start towards the tail of my brow. light-handed pressure towards the beginning. I'm going to brush my hair, brow hairs down. And the 
on for the front of my brow. I'm just going to lightly do upward strokes in the directions that my hair is going. And like I said, you don't want to go too intense because that's when things are like, what the? Now after that, I'm going to take my spoolie on the other end of the brow pencil and I'm just going to brush my brow hairs in the direction that they are going and how I want them to actually lay and this is going to distribute the product evenly make it look a little bit more natural it ain't nothing natural about this but it's fine so then I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow I'm going to go in with a little um, concealer definer brush this is the Sigma Flat Definer the E15 um, and I always always go in with concealer to clean up my brows and I am just going to define my brows I look beautiful so now after I do that, I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going to blend out that concealer so obviously that we don't look crazy. After that's done, I always go in with the, or any waterproof eyebrow gel just to make sure that your eyebrows don't go anywhere. Now this one is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. The cap is like missing. I don't know where it went. And you literally just brush your brow hairs in the direction you want them to stay. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Hoola by Benefit. This is a bomb bronzer. No matter what skin tone you are, I feel like it does have like a very, very, very good undertone. It's not too orange, it's not too red, it's not too cool. I like going in with just a little brush that it comes with. I feel like it does help uh, contour your face a little bit. And I always start from the hollows of my cheekbones. I like to go underneath my chin just a little bit, not really to contour it, but just to bronze it up. And I do like to go down my neck as well. And then I will go in with a bigger brush. This one is the Sigma Large Powder Brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. It doesn't really matter what you use, but I'll just put that in there. And I will bronze up my chest. Then I do blush and typically just for every day, I just kind of grab something that goes with my skin tone. I like using the Amazon Clay 12 hour blush. This is in the shade Ecstatic. Just looks like this. Ask me why I blow on my brush, I have no idea. Okay, so then I just kind of pop it in the center of my cheeks and blend it backwards. Then I will do highlighter, and highlighting is my favorite part because I don't drink water and it makes me look like I do. It makes me look like I'm hydrated. Um, I'm just gonna go in with Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Obviously I like it. I mean, I'm just gonna use a Sigma Taper highlighting brush. It is the F35. Sorry, I've had these brushes for a while now and they're starting to fade, or the names are. I am just going to go on the high points of my cheeks I also put a little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on my cupid though, and I will drag it up a little bit at the arch of my brow. Depending on where I'm going, sometimes I like to highlight my collarbones as well. Sometimes I will go in with a, a powder. This is from the Anastasia Contour Kit. I just depotted it and this is in the shade Vanilla. And I will literally just take my brush. This is a Morphe R5. I think this was part of their rose gold collection. And I will just swirl it in there. And I will bring it underneath where I bronze. And I will just clean it up. You are going for a more chiseled, contoured look. I will go in with the shade Fawn from the Anastasia Contour Kit. I just focus this on the hollows of my cheek. Nowhere else. When it comes to just my everyday look and I'm not going somewhere super important, I like to keep it very simple on the eyes, but I do like to at least bring some shadow in the crease just to uh, um, create definition. 
So I am going to use the Morphe M441 and I'm going to use that same Hoola by Benefit bronzer. And I'm just going to use this in my crease. And I'm going to blend. I like to go back and forth motions and circular motions as well, just to make sure that's all blended. Sometimes I will take uh, just a light colored shade. It could be shimmer, it could be matte, doesn't matter. I typically just go in with my finger, honestly. And I'll just pop that on the center of my lid and it just kind of creates a highlighted effect. And then I'll take that blending brush that I was using for my crease and just go in and blend out any harsh lines. After that is done, um, I will typically go in with a brush like this, kind of like a packing brush or a, a definer brush, it doesn't matter. And I will go in with the crease shade that I put in my crease and I will run that underneath my lash line as close to my lash line as possible. So then after that, I will go in with a black coal pencil. Doesn't matter what black coal pencil you use, you basically take the coal pencil and you push it up against your upper lash line. I'm not sure if I mentioned what pencil this was, but this is the Makeup Forever. It's Aqua XL. I have no idea, honestly. It's waterproof. I really, really, really like it. Okay, and then I will go in and line my inner waterline. It's actually not good to pull on your eye like that either, but <laughs> it's fine. So then I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. For my everyday makeup, I do not wear false eyelashes. I am a mom and I don't have time for that. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing mascara. Like I'm all for drugstore mascara and there are really good drugstore mascaras, but this one is worth it, I will say that. I'm just gonna go in and coat my light cheeks. Gonna zoom you in a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes. To finish up the eyes, I will go in with a small, teeny tiny dome brush like this. This is the Morphe M222. And I will go in with a highlighting shade. I'm going to use the, it's called the Originator and it's from a Pure Sculptor palette. I got this in a boxy charm, and it just looks like this right here. And I will pop this in my inner corner. This is gonna once again help open the eyes. Sometimes I will run it at the arch of my brow as well. This helps lift the eyebrow. For lips, I typically just do something simple. Um, I like to do nude lips just for every day. I switch this up quite frequently actually, but today I'm going to go in with MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. It's like a neutral brown, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. I got butt hole lips. And then I'm going to go in with Max Lipstick in Myth. It's a really pale nude, and I'm only going to put this in the center of my lips. Then I'm gonna go in with Maybelline's Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss in the shade Tease. Just this pale nude with a slight pink tinge to it. And then lastly, I am going to go in with Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. It's got like a very slight shimmer to it and it just makes your skin look glowy and extra hydrated. But you have to shake it up pretty good or it'll literally look like glitter threw up on your face. And then there you have it. So I know that this is more than what some people would do and less than what some people would do. Depends on the person, but this is just personally what I do. Really hope that you guys liked this video. Please give me any critique or criticism, feedback, anything um, when it comes to lighting, like if I need to zoom up. I know that like with like more in detail looks, I will get different angles just so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But as for right now, that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I really need to get better at like, you know, speaking because I suck. I suck. I
suck so bad. <laughs> All right, Roto. I am, you're right. But, you, but <laughs> you're interrupting me. Sorry, that was my son. Bro, this like keeps trying to focus on my face. Look at my spray tan hands. Ew, that's disgusting.